Hi, I'm from Nebraska, y'all. It's Square Peg, and I watched a video last night that blew my mind. <laughs> it was Joni Patree, the astrologer. She's a Vedic astrologer, and she was talking about August and September and really out through the rest of the year, but really focused mainly on August and September and Mars in Virgo and Venus retrograde and something about Leo. <laughs> you know, astrology is not my strong suit, but I, I find it interesting and I like to listen to it. When she said August 18th, I paused it, I threw my notebook and my pen on the bed, and I paced back and forth, back and forth, back and forth for about three or four minutes before I could settle down and push play again to hear what she had to say about August 18th. It really blew my mind. So this all came out of that, what, what she was talking about. And... I'm not sure that August 18th refers to the egg office guy who was born on this day here, but it might. She wasn't, you know, coming right out and saying necessarily, because you don't necessarily want to say that on YouTube so much, <laughs> like in plain for everyone, in plain English, you know. So that's how I kind of was thinking about it, though. So. I decided to take a look at his birthday and the day that he first went to Washington. This I discovered in December, I think it was, of last year, because we had been expecting him to leave office last year, and it didn't happen, right? Well, when I found out that he first went to Washington as a senator in 73, that's when I realized, okay, his leaving office is going to happen in 23, not 22, because it's going to be attached to his own life, not entirely on the whole Nixon thing. But it it's tied to his own life, and that makes sense. So, 50 years over the main flip date of 1998, right? So, assuming that this August 18th is something in regards to that... I decided to find out what the midpoints are. So there's two dates here. I'm going to, uh, this is a little bit confusing. I'm hoping that I can explain it so that it's clear for you. So I may pause it a few times. So I, because I might get lost because it, it is a little confusing. So first we're going to start with this going to Washington date versus this date, August 18th coming up. So I flipped it over the main flip date, 98, found the midpoint, and it's April 26th. It's not right in the middle of 98. So pretty close, though. April 26th, that was the day that this year, the, the, we sent a, we, the United States sent a nuclear submarine to South Korea. As a, as a show of solidarity, like, you know, don't let those North Koreans threaten you guys. We're going to be here with you, right? And I had predicted that the night before. Well, not that specifically, but something about the Navy, possibly submarines, the following day, and that is what happened, right? So I thought that was interesting. And it's also, oh, it's three days after St. George's Day. St. George's Day, um... It was the 23rd of April, I believe, when they had the, the dragon that went up in flames at Disney. Right. Okay, so... Oh, I'm going to have to pause it. Hold on. Okay, so I've said this before, that that date, August 18th, is the 230th day of the year. And we are in 2023, so you've got these 23s here. Now, I found the midpoint in between th this, his birthday, and this day, and that was April 4th of 1983. This is the 94th day of the year, and 
if you'll remember from the video I did the other day, that live show I did, I showed a bunch of words and phrases that add up to 94. Now, I don't even remember exactly why 94 was a number that I was was talking about. Somebody else had mentioned it, and I just ran with it, but I didn't really... I mean, 94 plus 30 years brings us to 2024, but I don't remember the person that I was reading their stuff about 94. I don't know how they were thinking about 94, but anyway, it's the 94th day of the year. So what I did was I looked back at these months and the history, you know, and found just to see what happened that month that might be related, right? I did not really find much of anything in, in this month here that I thought was related. This April 26th, this is the 116th day of the year. So I've talked about this before, like it's almost like the, the nine and the, and the one and the one, if you were like looking underwater at it upside down. Yeah, it would be reflected and refracted and upside down. But anyway, when I got to here though, and I looked in April of 1983, I definitely found something interesting. <laughs> Four days later, on April 8th, that was the day that David Copperfield magically made the Statue of Liberty disappear. Well, now that sounds like it might be related, right? So I looked up, well, when did the Statue of Liberty appear for the first time there in the harbor, right? So that was... October 28th of 1886. 1886 there, 1 plus 8 plus 8 plus 6 equals 23. If you add 138 years to 1886, you get 2024. So, uh, now I'm thinking eclipses. Because there's this April 8th date, which is the date of the next of those two eclipses that are making the big X. I didn't even talk about that the other day when I was talking about X's. But those two eclipses are making, the paths make an X across the United States, right? One in 17 and one in 24. The one in 24 happens on April 8th. So, there's 24 right there super interesting. The one that happened back in 2017 happened on August 21st, three days off of the 18 and the date that I was given in that email about the um, 188th ley line coming up from Mexico into the United States, right? So that's super interesting. So in order to get from 83 to 24, there's 41 years difference. Ah. And then 41 years back from 83 brings you to 1942. Right. I think we've looked at this timeline before, actually, when we were looking at uh, Daddy Disney and Pele, the Disney family, and all that stuff. So this is a little bit familiar, but totally different topic. Okay, I'm going to pause it again. Okay, so 2024. 2 plus 2 plus 4 equals 8. And we've been seeing these H's everywhere these days. Double H's and then triple H's. Yeah, H, 8, right. And because I had subtracted 41 years from the second eclipse year, I thought thought I would subtract the same 41 years from the first eclipse year, 2017. And that brought me to 1976, the bicentennial. I remember going to the fireworks that year. I was five. Oh, I was terrified. It was so loud. <laughs> oh. Then I also figured out what the distance in days was from... The day he was born, November 20th to April 8th, disregarding the years, just the days. And it was 139, which I was curious about. I really felt like, 
it's just one day off, you know, like, it's almost this 138, you know, like, it's 139. So, I'm not exactly sure, could be a few days off, right? But that's interesting. Now, April 8th, April is fourth month, eight, so it's a four and an eight. And... April 8th of 2024, I have over here 4, 8, and then you have the 2024, which is 2 times 24, which would be 48, or you just, like I said up here, add them up, 2 plus 2 plus 4 is 8, right? <sighs> so I think I said this, 2 plus 6 is 8, April is 4, 2 plus 6 is 8, so there's a 4 and an 8 there. Um, 1 plus 9 plus 7 plus 6, 1976, equals 23 again. 1886 adds up to 23. 1976 adds up to 23. Whoa. All right, so did I get, I got David Copperfield. I did not really find too much of anything here. There's the distance there. Okay, so the distance between April 8th and the reverse of that, August 4th. So you got 4, 8, and then you have 8, 4. So this is Obama's birthday, the day that Garrow has been predicted for Trump's non-fatal head wound. I've talked about that a little bit. But I just, you know, 4, 8, 8, 4, let's, how many days in between? 118 days. So if we go back up here to the Statue of Liberty, 10 for October breaks down to a 1. The 28 is a, 2 plus 8 is 10. So again, it breaks down to a 1. So we already know that this equals 23. If you go out here to 2024, because it, it's 138 years later, right? So we'll just pick the same day of 1028 of 2024. That equals 8 already. I've said that those equal 8. So we've got 118 just like 118 days in between here. And I think there was one more place that I found the 118. But I don't, I don't see it on there. I don't recall. So now I want to look at this 1976 because I did the same thing. I went back to the August of 1776 to see what happened that month that might be related. Okay, so I didn't really find something on this topic, but I found two things that were related to each other and some cool maths came out of it. So on August 11th, Keith Moon collapsed. And I don't remember if he was actually on stage or if he was just in public somehow, but he collapsed and had to be hospitalized. He didn't actually die for another couple of years, but I, I think it said that he had um, water on the brain, you know, uh, um, edema, cerebral edema, something like that. Anyway, um, so Keith Moon, right? <laughs> His middle name was John, but that's that was his given name, Keith John Moon. <clears throat> and, oh, I wrote it down in my notes here. He was born on August 23rd. There's a 23. And the email about Mexico and the ley line there said August 21st to the 23rd. So, Keith Moon was born on August 23rd of 1946. He died on September 7th. The Queen died last year on September 8th, which is the same, no, sorry, scratch that. Okay, collapsed and hospitalized, right. So, 10 days later, on August 21st, in 1776, the USSR's Luna 24 landed on Mars. That's what this, that's how the story goes anyway, right? So Luna equals 48. We've been talking about all these 8s and 4s and 4s and 8s. 
And if you, you know, it's Luna dash 24, if you think of that as a minus sign, so you've got 48 for Luna minus 24 equals 24 equals X. X marks the spot. <laughs> oh, this is very complex coding here. This is many, many things interwoven together. You've got the Statue of Liberty, you've got the moon, you've got USSR and the US, you've got Obama and Trump and Biden all in here. And I'm going to pause it to make sure I didn't miss anything. Hold on a second. Okay, I think I remembered. I was talking about the 118. So we've got 118 days here, and then this is 118, right? Well, I think what I was thinking of was 818 or 188. So that's two eights and a one as opposed to two ones and an eight. Right? And that's, you know, just August 18th, 818 or 188. Right? But there's one more thing I forgot on the very bottom of my page here. On back in 1976 again, at the end of the month, August 31st, the Mexican peso devalued. So that ties in our, you know, 188, the 188th ley line again for this prediction for. August, round about the same dates here, for something connecting Mexico and the United States. And, you know, a devastating something could certainly cause the collapse of a currency or an economy. Yeah, for sure. So, oh, wow. Uh, this is a lot. I, I had trouble explaining it. I hope you have enjoyed this crazy numerical whirlwind, and I hope you're having a good night. Thanks, folks.